My refrigerator is where cilantro goes to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting jiggy with it. Mm, na, 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 na. Why is that in my head? Maybe mm. your hair looks so nice. Okay. It does. Thanks. It looks really nice. Thanks. All right, y'all. Welcome to OMG Planners. Ha! Huh? We are here. We're gonna talk about four easy steps for meal planning. Just four. Only four, and one of them is really easy. Yes, it's that's the last right. Step. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that though. Okay. No spoilers. No spoilers, man. <laughs> and get down to it in our video. Ooh, what's your favorite recent <gasps> recipe? Oh, Mavi, what's your favorite recent recipe? The same one you're gonna say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make this one. It's lemony lentil broccoli spinach salad. Yes. From oh. Give Me Some Oven. They're the best. Oh, it's so good. The last time I made it, I used chickpeas mm -hmm. and I didn't have mushrooms, so I used artichoke hearts. And Ooh, like, always use fine. artichoke hearts. And you double yes. the mushrooms if you're cooking Double mushrooms. the mushrooms. At least double. Yeah. Um, I mushrooms usually double good. some stuff. Oh, one other recipe though that I made that was so good that I believe I've talked about is the curried chickpeas with baked mm -hmm. eggs from Bon Appetit. Oh, yeah. I'm too nervous to Bon Appetit recipe. Why? But you've told me this one's approachable. A lot of them are really approachable. My kiddos are really into the smash burger trend or smash Ooh. taco trend. Ooh. It's just because we have a smasher. You know, like the big smasher. And they like that one. They can do it. Mm. What about you, Lolly? I discovered Unbound Wellness recently on the interwebs. Mm. She had a really good bang bang cauliflower taco. <gasps> Ooh, she yeah. had that. It was yes. Mistakenly, I made both sauces, but then when I went to remake it, I saw that one was for AIP and one was for not, and I didn't make both, but next time I do it, I'm just making both. Because it added so much yummy flavor that I was like, it's worth it to just do both, and you pour one over, they're so good. I'm salivating, okay. I think I'm definitely gonna make that next time. <laughs> we need to finish it. Yeah, I will. All of these recipes will be in our description. Please comment your favorite recipes, and then we Plug. can make them. <laughs> <laughs> Plug! <laughs> Dr. Inkwell, you're not invited! Oh, also go watch all of our Dr. Inkwell erasable pens and erasable highlighter videos. Just because they're fun. They they're have really nothing fun. to do with me. <laughs> you might not learn anything at all. While cooking, you could just have it on in the background. Yes! It's a good background video. Yeah. That's what yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, I did the Me too! Show. You were talking about your bang bang cauliflower with yeah. the multiple sauces. Part of this Bon Appetit recipe is you make a curry sauce. So why not make a double recipe, oh, for freeze sure. half of it. Double That's recipe. There you go. That's me. Freeze half of yeah, it. Yeah, do yep. that. Always. And then you get the fresh veggie part when you're yep. ready to have it the next week. Yeah, week always. After. Shall we get into our how to meal plan in four easy steps? Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Ah. Step okay. number one. This is picking out the your recipes. Picking the recipes. Where do you get them from and how do you keep them organized? I usually make the same things because I don't really like to cook. If I were a gajillionaire, the first thing I would do mm -hmm. is hire a chef. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I make the same things and I don't want to like rewrite it all the time. Can I show where I put yes. it? Is that yes. allowed yes. in this you moment may. in time? Producer? Yes, please. I put them in the back of the planner <gasps> on this. the little sticky note thingies that are from our little, our sticky note set, you know, it's these guys. Uh, and I put mains over here and then I just add them. Like, this is amazing. Yeah, and I get a lot of my recipes from the internet, but I print them out. So I put them in a little binder. So I have main sides and desserts here. Wow. So it all lines up. And then I just say like the name of it in the thing. Yeah. Okay, and so I, I do that and then I just pick this little baby guy up and then let's go to May and I just put him here. And then, because I know I'm gonna want air fryer shrimp again, I'm obviously, like when I'm planning next, I probably put it here, it's a fan favorite. Oh my god! And you can just yeah. re-stick, and these stickies stick for a, quite some time. You know, you can reuse it, but then if once it loses its stick, as a sticky note will do, yes, I just write it on another one, and it's no Amazing. big deal. Because <laughs> you have this whole beautiful- Because I have the whole thing. But yeah. I do also, I took a little bit off the top, and I just stick it on this page and it stays. Oh my so oh. that I don't have to have this always, but this just stays there. I love right? how it's kind of fun. So yeah. I usually go on the interwebs, but I also really like a, a cookbook. I love mm -hmm. a cookbook. Mm -hmm. I love cooking with the picture and the perfect font and the paper that's just right. And this yeah. is a shock to no one <laughs> that is watching this. So 
Uh, that's what I do. And then that's I, yeah. so cool. And then I've talked about it before, keeping things up here. And this week, I have some fun five dinner stuff because we were using them and they do like give you your time for prepping and Ooh, stuff that's like a good that. Transition. So I wanted that. I love that you brought up five dinners because I did try it out this you last did. week. You did? Yeah, and it was really fun. It, so their whole thing is that you can go on their website and pick like a menu thing. Yeah. and it's five dinners. You can, I think you could do more than that. Yeah. But I picked one five hour. dinners. One hour. And it, you can prep them all in one hour and keep the pans in your fridge and then on the day of, you pull them out, you put them in the oven, you like microwave some potatoes, and then yeah, there's your dinner. Yeah. So to town. that's what I did. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Get it out of here. Get your stupid planner <laughs> out of my way. <laughs> you you print out the recipes. <laughs> and they're... That's actually my favorite part. Is yeah. that they break that part down. Yeah. Yes. And I then this that. is all you have to do on the day of. Love so it. So actually, I think we're having this tonight. <gasps> Yum. So that's to tell me how it is. And that was my grocery list. Love it. And then I have a similar thing to Lolly in the back. Can you? Which is, oh my so gracious, gracious oh my goodness. My recipe. Oh my. <laughs> this so I can like add oh. recipes and see if I made them. Oh and then where do I find it? My notes on it. And then here, this just like Wally, is the pattiest plannerist girl thing I've ever, ever seen. <gasps> it's really, it's really yes. nice. I'm, I like the notes section. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Look, um, made with butter beans. Yes. Pear with scallion pancakes, mm -hmm, Nancy. Mm -hmm. I am sure. Curry chickpeas and baked eggs. There we go. Lentil and broccoli salad. She definitely downplays her cooking. Yes. No, she's. You're such a cook. <laughs> you, you downplay. She like, doesn't oh, talk about it all the time. She doesn't. Yeah. I liked how, Lolly, you had yours organized by mains, mm -hmm. sides, and desserts. Mm -hmm. You could like use a little color code sticky note or something. I could. Like or the, like a little sticker. Mm. Yeah. Or little circle ones, mm -hmm. you know? I had way less sides and desserts than I did mains, because I feel like I don't really plan. No. I just, I plan. Slice peppers. Yeah. Every yeah, other and like night. Uh, <laughs> roasted potatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Potatoes are the best. Nancy, it's day. so pretty. Thanks. And then I'll just show, I think I've already shown this, but then here's where yes. my little stickies go in my meal pee. And then you can move them around if plans change. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So, I love it. That's my meal pee. Okay, what step are we on? Number one. We're still on number one. We need to hear from Maddie. Okay, this is about so, to be the cutest thing we've ever no, seen. I have a different no. approach. Okay. okay. Typically what I do is on flanny Sundays, I will put ahead of time little notes if it's a game night oh, or work from yeah. home. Oh. I'll just do that ahead of time. And then on Sundays, I typically get input from my family, like mm -hmm. what should we make? Mm -hmm. So like this week, it's got lots of dinner at the game and concession yeah. dinners. So next week I went ahead and planned it out. But normally on Sundays, I'll have my kids give me input. Yes. Now, I put this out on the counter. So, as we all know, sometimes this decision, is so this cute. decision fatigue of picking what the dinner is. Like, yeah. I love to cook. I will shop. Can someone else just make the meal plan and make the decisions? Yeah. So I put this out on the counter the last two days. And I each kid had a color. And I'm like, write down your favorite meals. Oh and this is the cutest. Okay, but there's... Frame this. It's inaccurate. And I will explain why. Okay. So, Lavoie family favorites. Different children have different colors. Oh. But then it turned into them reading each other's and just writing down a bunch of desserts. Sugar cookies. Watch your mouth with noodles with meatballs. <laughs> oh, that's Quinny's favorite food in all the world. Oh my, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> oh my god. So back in cheese. <laughs> back in cheese. <laughs> rice. Oh, rice, yeah. So, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, yeah. So then it turned into let's just copy everybody. But the lesson here is they couldn't think of anything. Yes. Oh. So, so no now problem. I can be like, this is why I need your help. It was yeah, so hard for you to come anything. up with stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that being said, I do the same thing as Lolly. I print something I find interesting, mm -hmm. but I cook it from that printed once. Oh, okay. And then if it's a repeat, I stick it on here. I stick it on my little like ah, you put it on the card. If it's a repeat recipe, do you stick, stick it? On a card. Do you then tip these up if no? You're gonna use these them? were to show you. Like this is my oh, yeah. my aunt's famous pound cake, oh. which I can't really show too much oh. of. Oh, Mammy's gonna get this. Is my my mom's coleslaw because oh, wow. it's from. Oh yeah. 
So like this is so the nice. lentil one, that. and I would put give me some oven. But if it was oh, yeah. like if it was you writing it, you would put write from Mabby. Yes. So yes. you know oh, where yeah. like I like the history of where the plants come yes, from, where the rest yes. come from. So this is where it goes like for real. I love it. If it's not like yeah, roast, it's roasted like, so and roasted important. potatoes are like not a recipe. Yeah, you know. So this is the real stuff that my kiddos then like we can always flip through. Yeah. So that's how we meal pan. I love that. I feel really inspired by both that and your binder. I think I, I need to. Binder. I want to start printing out my recipes. Yeah. Yes. I cannot cook from the internet. No. Which like really shocks no one yeah. here. <laughs> like <laughs> even cooking, I have to use paper. What is mm. wrong with you? <laughs> now we're on to step two. And that is, yes, that's good. Okay. Compiling your ingredient list and mm. going to the grocery store. So many ways to do this. So many. Yes. You can write it out like Nancy did on her grocery list. Five dinners is really nice because once you pick your recipes, then they compile a grocery list for you. Yeah. And then I just was like, all right, this is what I have. This is what I yeah. don't have. This is what I need to buy. Or yeah. you can just bring the printout that they give. But or you also, can bring yeah, yeah. yeah. I have an app that I throw stuff on, and we have a quarterly wall printable that's like on my wall in the kitchen. And there's one of the little sections I've labeled groceries. And so I have my kids go and just write stuff on there mm. so that I can remember. Instead of them like shouting at me while I'm like doing a million other yes. things, and they are too, it's like, no, 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 let's just, just write it on the list. And we have a lot of Alexas. My children know like if they're out of, I don't know, yogurt, yeah. it's their responsibility when you take the last one, put it on the list. And so you can say, Alexa, add monkey yogurts to the grocery list. And the grocery list on my on the Alexa app is already pre, it'll break it up by like aisle. I love that. It's great because I'm wanting my children to take ownership because this is a like, Meal planning yeah. should not all fall on me yeah. on Sundays, so yeah, it helps true. them. Like, it's sorry you're out of breath, nobody put it on the list, whoever yeah. used the last of it. Giving kids agency and yeah. responsibility makes them feel like they're part of the process. Over um, something they have to be a part of three times a day. Yeah. Like, it's a yeah. big part of our life. Yeah. You know? And it's not all on you two. Yeah. So you get the, or like when your little ones make their lunches, yeah. and then if someone uses the last of the goldfish, then it's they like, can just ride over there without yeah. even talking to you about it. Wouldn't that yeah. be lovely? That, that it'll It's coming. One Day. Okay. okay, question though, when do you grocery shop? Well, my friend told me the other day that he walks to Kroger every day. Yes. A lot of people you know, just go. When I lived time. in New York City and I would, I li well, I lived in Hoboken and worked, I would go to like the little bodega eat place mm -hmm. every other day and just pick up a few things that we were out of. I actually loved it. So where we lived, we didn't have any type of Instacart delivery or whatever yeah. until COVID. And I forgot yeah. about it because mm -hmm. during COVID it was easier to like, just go to the store because yeah, I can't, like, a lot of time. There's less going yeah. on. And so then when I started working for you, I was like, hmm, we're gonna justify Instacart. So I will literally make the order and meal plan before church and then set it to deliver yes. after church. Yeah, oh. that's what I do. So you have on a Sundays. Sis? Oh wow. Okay, yeah. so y'all are uh, Sunday yeah. grocery. And, and I'm an yeah. Instacarter. Yeah. And but I pass the grocery. We always have to pop in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm usually a two times a week Instacarter. Mm. Oh. And I get like a little supplemental one on Wednesdays or so. Once I've reached the like free shipping threshold, mm. and I pay for the whatever mm. the subscription is, so I don't get so charged do mm -hmm. each thingy. Sometimes we do we just hop into Whole Foods if we need to. <laughs> I am terrible at this, you guys. <laughs> Hey, yeah, hey, we're all getting better. I'm though. learning, I'm yeah. learning, yeah. I'm learning. Also learn when we go on vacation, and you can use this, you're traveling soon, my Instacart on my way to the beach. So then when I get to the beach house, the Instacart delivery is that afternoon. They don't deliver. So you don't have to go to the grocery store on that like Sunday check-in like everybody yeah. else. Yeah. And then I also do vacation. it on the drive back from Vegas. Oh, yes, I so do that like too. everything. Yes. That's smart. I yes. Know. Wow. Yeah. Mabby, you are organized. She should be sitting in the middle, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Yeah. I, just, I gotta move. I'm forced to. <laughs> when you have four kids, you're just like, how can I make this efficient? Yeah. I also was a kindergarten teacher to 50 children. Oh. Yeah. That kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Trained me. Trained you. Yes. Trained me. Yeah. Now, moving on to step number three, which is making time to prep those meals. Yes. As we said, five dinners is all about the prep. Prepped in one hour, right. then you're good to go for the rest yeah. of the week. A lot of the meal delivery services are too, like they sort of prep for yes. us. Mm -hmm. Like I've done purple carrot, hungry root, Literally tried them all, you guys. Green well, you chef. have to do all of the free we trial. We have to do free trial discount. For I have done every single one. The mise en place 
is so that's a fan, satisfying to just be like, is. here's the right amount of spices. Let what me is mise en place? Oh, that, it means um, I use it. It's what's the sourdough prep that I do. You are it so means, like, fancy. It supplies in place, so it makes it easier and more efficient to cook. Mise en place. It, it so makes that's what it's called. So when you make fun. sourdough, it does. When you make sourdough bread, you have to get your mise en place does, ready, just and like, then you can bloop. just do your things. Yeah. yeah. And then you save to the containers, like put little yeah. snacks in them. Uh, I've never okay. heard anybody use that though in like casual in conversation. Like, See y'all, <laughs> bon appetit. It's probably the bon appetit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how can you mise en place your? You have to work in mise en place <laughs> to your week. <laughs> well. I have a passion, and that passion is tiny bowls. I love tiny bowls, and I want to buy them. I'm surprised I didn't buy any today at Target. Ooh, that was strange. So, yeah. That was a lot of self-control, right? I do it maybe maybe the afternoon before I make it, mm -hmm. or I do it right before I actually cook. That's and I put all the idea. things in the tiny bowls. Oh, it's so cute. It's so satisfying. Did you take a picture? No, I don't. You probably should. I bet it's adorable. It's pretty It's pretty cute. I mean, I could use more cute tiny bowls, though. Who That's couldn't? That's holding me back. Who couldn't? <laughs> I feel like I do that before the meal is done. I do it like after school when my kids are decompressing, mm -hmm. and then I'm sort of prepping dinner, and then I let some nights I, I just let my husband actually cook it, but I'm his oh, sous chef because yeah. he's a much better actual cook than I am. And, but I'm a better prepper because mm. he gets overwhelmed at the prepping and I love to prep. Give me a little thing to pull all the leaves off of and then chop them, 100%. John and I sometimes do that too where we split yeah, the prepping split versus the actual cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it just and like then, yeah, divides the labor. I get to drink wine and scroll Pinterest yeah. while he's cooking. <laughs> it's beautiful. I've gotten really cre uh, intense about cleaning while I'm cooking. Oh my yes. gosh, yes. And yes. not handle when you're done and everything is a mess and no. there's dishes it's everywhere. It's so stressful, you guys. So, it's so like, stressful. I like to I can't, clean. I can't even. But some, there's definitely people that don't yeah. even touch a dish. Yeah. yeah. And they just like, leave it and I'm like, we're in How time, you even sit. And, and enjoy your dinner when you know all of that is waiting for you. I can't, I it's can't. Like a, it's like a Sharpie on a thin piece of paper. <laughs> I do think the biggest thing that you're starting to pick up on is like efficiency, like five dinners is all about that. Yeah. Maximizing your time, if you're gonna cut all the yeah. onion, cut all the onion for the week. Mm -hmm. And some and weeks you can do your hour and a half cook time. And yes. some weeks you're like, I have a game every night and I yes. just yes. need to prep this all. Uh, and prep it ahead of time. Yeah. So I do that on Sundays. We do all the hard boiled eggs, some sort of shredded chicken for the week to add to lunches yeah. and stuff. And then prep the meals, like five, I mean, I used the five dinners. Yeah. And I loved it because I could just yeah. like, Get it all and yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah. I have children and they like to, my like teenagers like to eat more than a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So if I have it stocked, then by the time we get to scrounge night, we can scrounge leftovers from whatever we've cooked can or, make any bowl or take it from that. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. by the end of the week, use it, it up. we just use that up. Is your scrounge night Thursday or Friday? Like do you do take It's yeah. either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, Friday's like the kids love pizza. 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 And, and then on the weekends yeah. we'll get something on Saturday or something. Okay. We don't do a lot of takeout. Yeah, we do. We don't it deliver to our house. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I mean, to our pub. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, so, so meal prep time. So none of us really <laughs> do it. Well, you kind of, you do on you Sundays. Do it. We prep certain things like our yeah. salads for like yeah. salads for the week and a bunch of eggs. So sometimes on like Sundays, we'll just like re, you know, pre-chop everything. It's yeah. like yeah. your cute little bowls or everywhere. Or mine rice. are cutting boards everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you can like look at your meals ahead, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. and you're like, okay. And even look at your recipes and like chop up the things. Right. Yeah. That is sort of like what a lot of the but We're on the same menu flow things. though. You yeah. and I have a similar rhythm where like kids come home from school at three yeah. and then like while they're eating snack, I'm like starting to prep dinner. Yeah, me too. Doing that, I, I think it would be better to do that on a Sunday afternoon if I don't just want to chill yeah. because Sometimes it's nice to also decompress with them and like puzzle during that time and not be like, all right, mommy has to work uh -huh. on mommy stuff, mommy yep. chores. I think okay. my meal prep is leftovers. Yeah. That is my meal prep is planning out when the leftovers are going to be. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Or like lunch planning. Yes. Like, which like, oh, I'm going to make enough of this to bring for lunch. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this brings me to my meal prepping goals, which are I want to get back into overnight oats and I want to oh, eat those. You used to do that so every good. day. Yeah, I did. Like 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah you did that every day. <laughs> we should collab on 
this because I love an apple pie one or like a vanilla blueberry one. Ooh. Uh, so we should like I love try yeah. different ones. We should. Then that was step three. Now step four is really complicated, so you guys should hang on to your hat. Grab your pens. Grab and just your paper. Hold on for dear life. Write this down. Number four is actually making and eating the food. <laughs> Which yes. is the best step. For sure. Absolutely. And really like the only question that I have about that is what do you do with a recipe that you like, which we've mm -hmm. kindly kind of already discussed. Mm -hmm. You put it in your- You put it in your bin. And you share it. And you share it. And you it. share it with your coworkers yeah. and friends. <laughs> That's what you do. And us in the comments. Plug. <laughs> I think meal planning is like, it's, it's so catered to what your life looks like. And yes. some people have to be really strict and they do the freezer things and they do all the, like they pile things up and they have it forever. And some people have a little bit more time certain times and some people like to cook and some don't. So it's like, there's no perfect way. There's but no perfect I way. also think there's like, there's no perfect in planning. What you've always said is like, it can change from week yes. to week. Absolutely. Yeah. You have to remember that like some yeah. weeks are slim and you want to do your yeah. five, five dinners prep on Sunday and yeah. some weeks are chill or you're you someone's traveling and yeah. you cook a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Chips and salsa for dinner. I know. It's fine too. Yeah. yeah. There's no, there's yeah. no right way or wrong way but to do it. But it can change. People like, yeah. Want it to stay. Yeah, it can yeah. change. Yeah, I guess don't be down on yourself. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Go check out, as we said, our Dr. Inkwell videos. And then also, we did have another meal planning video where we had, we just showed a ton of different ways to use our planner specifically mm -hmm. to meal plan. And yeah. I believe that was like teacher planner too. Teacher like planner how to use too. That too. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So thanks for watching. And uh, what's our sign off? You said you had one. Make your meals have family appeals and also I'm so proud of you be a steal press oh. wise <laughs> all right bye bye okay. and what the heck is fireball cake oh I'll, oh <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation yeah, so okay. i special order the ice cream. obviously i just special ordered a lot of ice cream <laughs> yes.